So I have a job interview. I'm really nervous because it's been a long time since I've worked. But it's okay, because I need money, okay? And part of being like a starving artist is like the lack of coins. But I'm excited though. I'm excited though, because I miss having like a daily schedule. I just hope that it doesn't get in the way of my creativity. I don't think it will. I think these hours are really good and I always get creative like at four in the morning. So I think that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> it is in about 45 minutes, so I'll let you know how it goes when I get back. All right, guys, I just got back from my interview, and I think it went well. That's all I gotta say about that. Hopefully I can start next week and be making this coin. But for now, I'm gonna head to my sister's because I work for her. I need to cut some fabric today, so let's go. I'm done working at my sister's. Actually, while I was at my sister's, I found out that I did get the job. We are a working woman now. While I'm working at this new job though, I'll still be working for my sister. So yeah, I'll just be working all around. Working, working, working day and night. Hey guys, it's the next morning and I forgot to film the rest of the day, but I kind of woke up feeling mixed mixed reviews over here <laughs> i'm excited to have a job and i'm blessed and i'm grateful like let me just say that i am so excited to just be able to have a schedule again and have a regular basis thing again but i'm also very nervous because i don't know I, i'm nervous because it's like i'm worried that i won't be able to be as creative as i want to or as i need to and i'm scared that it, creativity and music will become like a secondary thing because I'll be so caught up on trying to have my daily work schedule. And that's my biggest fear. I have a lot of weird feelings about it. That's why. But it's not like I'm scared to work. It's not like I hate working. I do hate working. I like working on what I want to work on. I don't work on things I don't want to work on, but I don't mind having a job. <laughs> I don't I don't mind being you know, worked. I want to make sure that that space, the thing that I care about so much, is nurtured through it all and continues to grow and doesn't stunt because I am busy. That is like the killer of dreams. Just working at all on something else that takes away from what you want to do. Personally, I, I don't think people understand how important music is to creatives or just whatever their art is. For me, it's super important. It's therapeutic and it makes me so happy. And I love it. It's like my little baby. I just wanna make sure I'm doing what I can to continue to love it. So right now, I'm just trying to remind myself that, um, sorry, this is so embarrassing. I'm trying to remind myself that this is like a part of the process. <laughs> Anyways, it's like, I'm excited. I'm excited to work where I'm working, but I'm just really nervous. I'm going to get ready for the day and um, get my life together, okay? Hey y'all, I got my life together. Um, wow, why are we making so much noise? Makeup look today is very simple. It's just lip gloss, tinted moisturizer, ColourPop, and then I have like the glitter on my eyes again because I just love it so much. And then I didn't do my brows, I just gelled them down. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. I don't really have much planned today. I really want to record, so hopefully I can show you guys some of that process. And yeah, that's about it. All right, I'm ready to record. I usually get stuff set up, so let me just, let me just get everything set up. In 
my free time, I like to do covers of just songs that I love and songs that are popular and songs that are fun to sing to me. I think it's so much fun doing covers because I can add my background vocals. Do my thing and it's really fun. Um, I think today I'm gonna do Confetti by Tori Kelly. I also wanna do Genie in a Bottle by Christina Aguilera. But I think I'm gonna do Confetti first. I think you guys can watch my process. cute though. Cause I tend to treat real big sometimes. The fancy outfits and the sparkly awards. The name and lies the people lined up at the doors. But I gotta remember to just uh, to take it one step at a time. Cause people seem to think. Alright, let's see. You'll have it all, but I'm living for right now. Cause what is tomorrow never comes. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting for the confetti to fall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Into dream real big sometimes. The fancy outfits and the sparkly awards. And he has the people and the the doors. But I gotta remember you take it one step at a time. Cause people seem to think that you'll be happier once you reach the top. So update, I started my job, I'm like a week and a half in, and it's not, it's all good. It's not, it's not that serious. I was overreacting. Sure, if, I would love nothing more than just to be creative and that's it for the rest of my life. But um, it's fine, everything's fine, it's fine. I will say though, I've been coming home tired and not being creative because of it, but it's something that I guess I'm just gonna have to get used to. It is what it is. And they never talk about, they never talk about this when they say, follow your dreams. Do whatever you feel like you gotta do. They don't talk about that. The, the, the having to work a normal job too. Now, honestly, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I knew that this was gonna be the case, but you know, when you don't think about it until it happens, yeah. So content days for me are just a day in the week or a day or so in the week where I dedicate all that time, the entire day or whatever, or how much time I can have to creating content. And content as in like taking pictures, as in making TikToks, as in recording music, as in all of that stuff, videos, whatever because now that I have a, a, now I'm fully employed, now that I'm fully employed, I need um, a day, a dedicated day to where I'm actually doing content and it's not just like random throughout the week because I realize like I get off work at what, five something. And then by the time I'm off work after like an eight hour shift, I'm ready to go to bed. It doesn't matter what time it is. I'm not like at all motivated to do anything but sleep. So 
that's why I have a day dedicated to where I'm doing a bunch of content every week, something. So that's what we're gonna do today. That's what I'm doing. I'm sorry that this vlog is so jumpy because I went from like one day to a whole other, like uh, the previous footage was probably a couple weeks ago. For right now, I'm just trying to finish up my makeup and I'm watching Grownish, so that's the vibes. That's the vibes. <laughs> Okay, so the things I have to do today is take Roscoe to the groomers. He's been a bad boy today, so that's why he's looking like that. Look at <laughs> I told him to lay on his bed and he didn't like that. He usually has a really good attitude after he gets his hair cut. It's like when girls get their stuff together and they look cute or whatever, and then you just be feeling yourself. Yeah, he be having good days a few days after he gets his hair cut, okay? okay? Then I need to start my content creation day, and then I also need to clean my car. It has been horrible. Like, we had a winter storm last week, couldn't drive on the road for three days, and now it's 77 degrees this week. Make it make sense. Lately, uh, my TikTok videos have been getting a lot of um, attention, which I think is really crazy. Um, but I've been getting so many cool brands reaching out to me like, hey Candice, can you do our product in your video and you can have it and da 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 da, or how much do you, blah, 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 blah. You know, I think that's so cool. I think that's so dope. So this is like really new to me. I've never been an influencer and I wouldn't even consider myself that because I'm just a regular, regular home girl. <laughs> so I'm gonna be making videos of me doing some products. And then I also am going to be probably doing some Omega videos and then just like cute videos to post in between those things. This is like a full-time job. Like content creating is like a full-time job. Like being creative is easy and light work to me, but then it's like, Putting in all the work is what makes the difference. You know what I mean? It's one thing to be a creative and one thing to love creating, but it's another thing to like actually make it like a thing that you do every single day. I remember when YouTubers would be like, YouTube is a full time job. And I'm like, YouTube seems fun. You get millions of dollars or thousands of dollars or whatever the heck y'all are getting to make videos of your life, of you cooking something, of you putting on makeup, of you like, that bare minimum, that is still an easier lifestyle. Yes, it takes work to create, and yes, it takes brain power to create, but like, it is so much easier than being like a construction worker or like working at a hospital or something. Like, this is the life. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be able to content create and like make a living and then not have to have like another job, you feel me? Update on the braids. Remember when they were fresh last video? Not anymore. Look at this. That's disrespectful. These are the shoes I'm wearing today. Cause like I said, regular, regular. Some sweats. Y'all already saw my top, it's just a tank. All right, let's go y'all. I'm tired of talking. Go Cheech. Are you ready to go Cheech? Are you ready to go Cheech? Are you ready to go Cheech? Let's go outside Cheech. You gotta leave your toy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> pick him up in a few um and let's go let's go clean my car because this is sick and i need to i need to lysol this mug i need to windex this mug and i need to make sure it's not dusty there's a lot that needs to happen here they hosing it down <laughs> really messy rooms but then they have like super clean cars and then girls have really clean rooms but they have super messy cars i don't think that's true that's all i had to say about that my car is never really dirty it might have like papers or something in here but like that's as, that's at most what it gets and my room's pretty clean most of the time 
lives so but my dad was also kind of like a like a car car guy so i'm not saying i grew up i'm not like that girl in the movies where she grows up you know fixing cars with her dad who is this woman <laughs> she did not sign a consent form okay i wasn't that girl that was like oh yeah i used to work on cars with my dad i'm like in his shop it wasn't like that but he took pride in like the stuff he owned really took good care of stuff and i'm the same way everything's nice and shiny nice and clean um back seats clean actually thinking this is gonna be one of those things that's like once or twice a month like I thought because I just decided you know I'm way too busy <laughs> to vlog all the time so thank you so much for tolerating my dramaticism it means the world I'm glad you guys are here thank you for hanging out with me check out my featured artist that I have featured this week um, yeah don't forget to like subscribe and comment and follow me on my social medias and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye